the church of San Pietro in Montorio in Rome, there's much to see. In a courtyard at the back, there's Bramante's famous Tempietto, a jewel of high Renaissance architecture. And inside the church itself, in the first chapel on the right, is Sebastiano del Piombo's flagellation, life-size and haunting. Painted between 1516 and 1524, it's a scene from the Passion of Christ. Tied to a column, Jesus is being softened up for his crucifixion. So far, he's unscarred. They haven't hit him yet. But his torture is about to begin. Sebastiano's noble Jesus stares silently at the ground. He's unusually bulky for a Jesus, and that's the clue to the flagellation's unusual origins. Although it was painted by Sebastiano, the design for the flagellated Christ was by Sebastiano's great mentor and friend, Michelangelo. And the flagellation is a joint work by two of the great masters of the Renaissance. Although it looks like a fresco, Sebastiano's chapel was actually painted in oil paints, which gave the surfaces a shine that's uncommon in Renaissance murals. When Michelangelo was painting his huge Last Judgment in the Sistine Chapel, Sebastiano advised him to use the new oil technique instead of fresco. Oil paints are for women, the angry Michelangelo snapped back, and for weaklings like Sebastiano. And that was the end of their fruitful friendship. But at least they left us the flagellated Christ at San Pietro in Montorio.